Hello, I'm Frankie, and today I'm the guest speaker in a debate in Trinity College. Come on. Watch your head. So we found, found some recent, recent figures about how much money Trinity College makes per year. Total academic fees income, 163.7 million. Donations to the college made by companies like Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan. You can look that up by the way. 27.7 million. Can anyone guess what my fee was for showing up today? Zero. Zero, but we'll pay for your bus fare if you show us the receipt. Here's my receipt, by the way, Tom. There you go. Thank you. Okay, so I'd like to thank all the high school musical theatre kids for speaking before me. Uh, especially the latchkey kid behind me with the American accent. Um, before we get going, I'm basically going to talk about like a brief history on Trinity, because obviously none of you know. Um, so Trinity College was founded by Queen Elizabeth I in 1562. So some people would argue that this place is sponsored by the royal family. But colonialism was actually invented in Trinity College, and colonialism is a good thing, because colonialism made this great country what it was today. Frightened. Those of us who don't go to Trinity rely on Trinity College students to bring us into the era of civilization, the Trinisphere. Full of coffee-loving moustache sad boys, <laughs> girls who wear scarves all year round, and people who go to protests to pretend that their dad doesn't actually own a boat. <laughs> Those of us who aren't in Trinity are the colonized, and the Trinity students are the connoisseurs. <laughs> Some of you, you, you wouldn't think it just looking at the quality of the people in here, but um, some of you will actually be the future leaders of the Irish landscape. And uh, those of you studying a useless arts degree will be landscapers. I'm studying a useless arts degree, but it's grand because I'm actually famous and you're not. I think you shouldn't drop out of college. And uh, the reason for that, the first reason, is college isn't actually that expensive. It's like 3000 a year. That's about the same amount of money you spend on coke in a two-month period. <laughs> um, but when you break it down, like 3,000 euro per year is like 34 cent per hour. And so you basically scrape and save and bring yourself to the point of a mental breakdown, wondering where you're going to get the money from while crying in a toilet cubicle of your weekend part-time job. You're in the hospitality industry now. Stop stealing company time, wipe the snot off your nose, and let's put on a show for all these horrible husks of human flesh that you call customers. <laughs> this is going to sound weird, but in an existential sense, it is kind of nice to watch you all struggle. <laughs> Especially compared to the top earners who are employed in Trinity College who make over 400,000 a year. It makes you feel worthless, because... You are worthless. <laughs> so in the cosmic dreamscape of social hierarchy, everything falls perfectly into place. Oh, <laughs> shit, hold on. I'm actually uh, looking at the wrong script here. That was that. Uh, you all got your parents to pay for your tuition, so uh, that was DCU, sorry. <laughs> so another great benefit of uh, staying in college and not dropping out is all the cool people you meet along the way. Yeah, we did do a thing called Wisdom of College Students, a series on TikTok where I met some of the stupidest people I've ever met. <laughs> they were like the human embodiment of a defective Tesco sandwich that still has plastic stuck to the inside loaf. <laughs> some of these people were literally three IQ points away from having to be nudged to be reminded that you have to breathe in order to survive. <laughs> so if you're stupid, congratulations. College is probably for you. Well done. And try not to run directly into anything sharp. 
So another point I'd like to make about why you should stay in college is meeting deadlines will help you to conquer your mental health difficulties. If the college workload is getting a bit much, you can always rely on support staff to swoop in and give you help with your mental health. But only if your mental health issues kind of like consist of being a little bit stressed around exam periods. If it's literally anything else, keep it to yourself, you absolute freak. Another reason to stay in college is to experience some of the cool extracurricular activities that college campuses have to offer. Let's look at here, even in Trinity, we have like the INF Society, which is basically just a safe space for rugby heads to be misogynistic. Um, we have the Geology Society for people who get hard staring at rocks. And then, and this is kind of a controversial, the Biology Society, it's racist. So, at least we've identified the problem, it's somewhere over there. <laughs> so, uh, just to conclude, I hope my arguments have helped you realise that whatever previously held beliefs you've had about the topic are obviously wrong. Thank you for joining me. I'm Frankie, and today you've tuned into Meditations for the Anxious Mind. Namaste.